Well, Mitch, your first professional deal. Congratulations. How does that feel? Yeah, it's mad. Like you work towards it from when I was being really young. So yeah, I'm just buzzing, man. It's a proud day for me and my family. Um, so yeah, it's just been a lot of hard work to get here, like years and years of work. But yeah, I feel good, man. Tell us about the process. How did the club inform you? Do, do you get an inkling, or, or is it literally you called into a meeting? You, just talk us through it. Um, well, we have like a group of scholars. We all get called into a meeting, and um, it's like a decision meeting. So yeah, it's just a build up from the two years. You have a meeting and you get told in there. So yeah, um, I went in, got told I was getting a deal, and yeah, that was it. It's pretty pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, going into it like um, I think you have an inkling, you know, as to how you've done over the years. But for me, being injured for a long time, I didn't know which way I was going to go. To be honest, um, so yeah, going in, I think a lot of us were nervous, but yeah, obviously I'm happy with how it turned out. You mentioned there when when you were a scholar, unfortunately, your first year it was it was a long yeah. a long time out. When it was over a year, wasn't it, with a with a knee issue? How did you manage to bounce back and cope with that? Um, I would just say it's my family and the people at the club as well supporting me. It was obviously a really hard time for me um, to have an injury that just came out of nowhere. Um, to be told I was going to be out for six months was obviously a big blow and then to be out for over a year, um, it's crazy. Like um, It was a long, long journey but you know I came back, kept my head straight and just knew that if I came back playing well I would get my deal and that's what happened so I'm just happy that I got through it but it was definitely hard for me and you know I put a lot on my family for helping me get through it. It must be difficult when you're reporting to the physio room every day and you see the lads putting the boots on, getting out on the grass. Yeah, like you sit in that room and like where they go out for training, that's where the room is. So you see them walking out with the boots on, you hear the boots when they come in. I just, I, didn't, I just never wanted to look, I never wanted to hear it. Uh, it's just mad, the amount of hours I spent in that room. But you know, it's all paid off now, getting to this stage. So yeah, that's, that's all I can say really on that. Do you think that, that layoff as well has helped make you mentally stronger? Yeah, 100%. Um, of course, it's hard physically. You know, you've got to do a lot of rehab, but I'd say it's definitely mentally a lot harder than it is physically because you're sat in there, you're thinking, like, am I going to come back the same as I left? How's things going to go? Is it going to be all right again? Like, there were times where I thought, am I even going to be back to how I was again? Because my knee was hurting, like, months after the surgery. So, so yeah, I think definitely mentally it's a lot harder, but um, you just got to get through it. you got to have a good support unit around you. Like, people at the club were helping me, people at home, my friends, my family, you know. So I think you just got to have a good circle of people around you and just, just tunnel vision. You just got to look at what you're going to do when you come back. Mm -hmm. and that's what I did. That's the past now. Let's look ahead yeah. to the to the near future. What are your aims? What are you hoping to achieve in in this next 12 months? Um, first and foremost, I want to you know get a good pre-season in. I've been working hard over off season to come back you know with a bang. But um, going into the 23s, I want to get myself in that team and then you know why not um, look towards first team as well. You know. Um, You've just got to, you've got to set your aims high and uh, see where it goes from there, really. You've just got to work hard as well. You've been involved with the 23s, you've travelled with them, you, you've had a feel for it at the back end of this season in yeah. particular. How, how good an experience has that been for you? Yeah, it's been great for me, like being out and then coming back with the 18s um, to then go in with the 23s, see how they work, see how they train and play. It's been really good for me, you know, going into next season, I, I've got an understanding and a feel of, you know, the system they play, the way they like to do things. And um, yeah, it was just all good for me, good experiences. And being with your size, a left footer as well, yeah. not many left-footed centre half, natural left-footed centre halves around, are there or left backs? Do you think yeah. that that's a, a big plus in your favour as well? Yeah, definitely. A lot of people say that um, there's not a lot of left-footed centre backs, or you know, I can play left back as well, so I've got that. Um, you know, I can play both positions. But um, as I said to the, the staff, as long as I'm playing, I, I don't mind. Like, um, I just want to be playing football and enjoying it. So, um, but yeah, definitely having that like unique. Um, you know, left-footed defender, I can play both. It's, it's good for me because I can fit into anywhere. If anyone wants me to play anywhere, and I'm happy to do so. I know you like to, to bring the ball out. You can yeah. play a bit. What other issues of your own personal game are you looking to improve? Um, I want to improve my defending. You know, I've been out for so long, um, it's hard to, like, move my feet as quick, do you know what I mean? But um, definitely going to be working on that. And um, just, yeah, all over defensive work, I think you can't practice enough defending, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a hard skill, a lot harder than attacking in wires. And... Um, I think if I can just keep working on that, I can really push on. And I guess having seen the, the 23s close up this season and how well they did and the way that the team plays, you, 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 I bet you can't wait to get cracking. Yeah, definitely. They did really well last season and to be a part of it at the end of the season, seeing how they got on, getting to the final and only lost on penalties. Yeah, they've done really well. And it's a good group and um, I think when I go in, the intensity is going to be high, but I'm, I'm ready for it and I'm looking forward to starting. 
Finally then, Mitch, it's, as you said, it's been you know a long journey to get to this, yeah. you know, many, many hours, and you, you thank your family there. Um, what kind of sacrifices as a player and a family do you have to make when you come through the sort of academy system to this point to get yeah. your first pro contract? I think endless amounts, really. You've just got to, you've just got to keep it your head straight. As a young player, there can be a lot of distractions, you know, but you've just got, to, you've just got to look to the end goals and if you really want it, I think you'll get it, definitely. And I think for my family and the people who have supported me, they've had to make a lot of sacrifices, you know, my dad bringing me to training since I was like eight years old, you know, uh, my mom making my dinner, like, do you know what I mean? Like making sure I've always got food on the table for when I'm hungry, when I'm back from training, you know, my whole family, my sister as well, like, you know, like having to miss out on things she's doing to be able to come in my mom to bring me to training. I think the sacrifice from not just me, but everyone who's a young player, they've definitely made sacrifices and their families as well. So I think it's just from now, like being able to repay them and making them proud going forward. Rich, thanks very much for your time Thank and you. congratulations again. Well Thank done. you very much.